Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, oh wait, let me just say my name. Hi guys, my name's Stacey, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am kind of uh, resuming my Conquer the Classic series and today's video is going to be how to wear bright colours when you have full lips. So I remember when I was younger, I got teased a lot about having really full lips. You can imagine some of the names I got called. And so as I grew up, I was quite um, self-conscious about my mouth. And when I started working at MAC, I would never ever wear like bright colors or, I mean, I just stick to clear gloss and maybe like some lip conditioner and just do all the eye stuff and nothing on the mouth because I didn't want any attention there because I thought my lips were really ugly. So anyway, I've grown up now and I actually really love the shape of my mouth and I really enjoy wearing bright colours as you can see. So today's um, lipstick or lip look is kind of inspired by this jumper. This is one of my favourite tops and um, I wore this once with this lip combination and yeah, a lot of people like asked me what it was. So I thought I would, I mean not on Instagram, I mean in real life. And um, so I thought I'd just do a similar look for today's video. So let's get into it. Right, so I've already done my skin today. I've taken Amanda to a play group this morning, but my skin is so dry and I don't really have dry skin. Oh, this is the Pixie Glow Mist, which my lovely friend Sylvie gave me. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, my skin's still really dry, so I'm just dub double dosing on moisturizer. And this is the Ombre Elise moisturizer again. I never have um, a dry face, not really, but my skin is really dry at the moment. I think it's, because we had like lots of snow and then cold weather and having the central heating on doesn't do wonders for the skin. Right. I've already got some lip balm on. I think I just used like the Nivea, the one in the dark blue tube. So I'm going to start with my brows. I'm using my new NYX um, Espresso Micro, what's this called? Micro Brow Pencil. To fill in the gappy brows. I love this pencil, it's just so natural. For me, it fits perfectly for the kind of brows that I like to wear. I am not a fan of Sharpie brows. And we all know what Sharpie brows are. Right, brows are done, and then I'm gonna set them with my Illamasqua brow gel. This is the same, I can't find my new one, so I'm having to use my old one at the moment just to keep the flow going, you know? Let's do the same on this brow. I love this eyebrow. I wish your sister was as well behaved as you. She's not. She's a disgrace to the family. Right, I might just make that a bit stronger actually. Before it gets really hard because that brow gel really does set. Okay, I'm gonna move on to skin. I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand, my usual. just to help with darkness on the eye. And then I'm taking a 217 blending brush and just blending in my concealer. And then I'm just gonna tidy underneath my brows. You don't have to do this, but this is something that I like to do. I'm using my Amand concealer and this brush is a 233 from MAC. just soften it in there okay for foundation I'm using my match master again number eight two pumps I think is enough just tap that on with my finger first. and then this is a cheap brush from real techniques and just quickly work that over I'm wearing it as medium coverage today you can get a bit more, but as you can tell by this little scar here, it's not full coverage, but that is fine by me. Tiny bit more. Right, and then I'm gonna go onto my eyes and I'm using this, which is the Cool Neutral palette from MAC. Um, I don't know all the names of all the colors, so I will just either drop in like, um, not speech bubbles, but you know what I mean, drop in like annotations in the video, or if not, I will list it at the end what I've used. First, I'm gonna use um, this Kiko pencil and it's called Color, Color Up Long Lasting, what does this say? Eyeshadow. 
it's almost worn off so it's very difficult number 24 and just put that on my eyelid and I'm just putting it on the lower half of the lid the bit that moves and then the same on the other eye and then just use my ring finger just to bledge out the bledge <laughs> blend out the edges oh dear mama is tired today then I'm going to take another 217, a clean one, and I'm using, hmm, what colour am I going to use? This one down here, I think, this grey colour. And I'm just going to do, um, oh, actually, I'm going to mix it with this, so these two mixed together. I'm just going to do a light sweep of that over the lid. I don't want my eye makeup to be too strong because I'm wearing a very bright lip with this look, and I don't want it to overpower it, so... And I'm kind of blending up to the crease. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter colour. And just do a little bit of inner corner highlight. Then I'm taking this colour here. It's a dark brown colour. Same brush. And just gonna reinforce my socket a little bit and on this side as well I don't want to make it too strong so I'm just gonna blend that edge away as well and I'm taking feline eye pencil and I'm literally just putting it on like the outer third of the eye and working it right into the root of the lash don't want to see any silver peeking through And then taking a little pencil brush and just working that in a bit more. And I'm pulling it out a little bit. Oh, I quite like that. I was going to do pencil underneath, but I think I'm going to leave it at this and see how everything else goes before I add any more. But I like the lift that I'm getting with that so actually where's my um concealer brush and just clean it up a little bit okay now I'm gonna go into lips these are the star or this is the star of the show so um if you have full lips lip pencils are definitely your best friend a lot of the times you see colors and you just think oh I couldn't wear that it's way too strong way too bright but actually a lip pencil is a, like a fantastic tool at being able to manipulate um, a colour to make it more suitable for your features. So I'm going to go in first with Cyberworld, which is a pencil from MAC, and just um, line my lips. Okay. I'm just going to take a small mirror so I can see up close and make sure that I am within the lines. And I'm going to mix it with another lip pencil. This is Plum. This is another MAC lip pencil too. And just fill in here. And this is just like blending these pencils through. You'll see when I put the hot pink uh, lipstick on, it will just sit a lot nicer on top of these blended lip pencils. So. And then I'm going to take my um, Sephora Creamy Lips. What's this called? Oh, it's actually rubbed off. No, it hasn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my Sephora Creamy Lip Stain in the color 08 that you see me use all the time as blusher and it is very bright but with the lip pencils on it just works so much nicer and there you have it so now I'm going to finish off the rest of my face just blend it there because it's sitting a little bit weird yeah that's better right now I'm going to finish the rest of my face so I'm going to take my in extreme no I'm not I'm going to take my uh, oh, I can't remember the name of anything I'm going to take my giga black from Mac and just do um, my lashes and a tiny bit on my bottom lashes 
Then I'm gonna go over my lashes, my top lashes again with my In Extremes I mentioned 3D Black Lash. So now I've got my eyes and my lips on, I'm gonna finish the rest of my skin. So for me, I need more concealer because it still looks dark in here. Just try as much to eliminate that. And I'm keeping the concealer quite close to the dip. So now that I've done the concealer, I've decided that I do want a little bit more drama going on at the lash line. So I'm going to take um, the feline pencil again and go into my waterline. Yeah into my waterline and I'm going to kind of smush it into the the roots of my lashes as well yeah I think it just adds a bit more um, impact to the eye makeup I'm going to go back to my pencil brush and just smudge that in a little bit And seeing as this look is a bit full on, I am going to do a bit of contouring today, but my style of contouring, so not much. Just punch out this cheekbone here. This is the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Foundation in number 10. And then the forehead. It's always gratefully received. Right, I'm going to go back to the cheek brush and just work that in. Five head, six head, seven head, nine head, ten head. Let's just bring that down a little bit, shall we? So for blush, I'm going to use the same that I've got on my lips. Not too much though, because there's a lot going on in the eyes and there's definitely a lot going on in the mouth and you don't want to overpower it with a blush that's too strong as well. So just a hint of colour to break up the monotony of um, the cheek. There's a lot of area with no colour on, so. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna set everything. So before I set my concealer, I'm gonna go back and re-blend to make sure there's no creases. And then I'm taking this brush, which is a 137 from MAC, I'm using my Minimalized Skin Finish in Dark and I'm literally just sweeping that underneath my eye. And I'm going to put a tiny bit just under my cheekbone just to make that stand out a bit more. And then I'm gonna go back to my um, cheek brush and real techniques and use the deep dark mineralized skin finish and just work that on my jawline and on my forehead. So guys, there you have it. That's the final look for today. Um, I just thought it would be a bit more interesting to show a proper full on lip with some eye makeup as well because um, I know that's another challenge that I used to struggle with. I used to feel like if I was wearing any color on my lip, I couldn't wear any eyeshadow and I wanted to show that actually you can. But of course you can leave out whatever you're not really feeling. Like if the eye makeup's too much for you with the lip, just drop that out. If you don't really like the lip, you could just put something nude on with the shadows. I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to everyone that's leaving me comments and feedback. I really appreciate you taking the time to engage with me and I'm trying to get around to kind of at least clicking like or um, responding to some of the messages. Um, I will be posting this picture, this picture, I'll be posting a look of, um, oh, goodness I'll be posting a picture of this look on my Instagram so by the time this video goes up the picture will definitely be there but it will just help you to see it in a bit more detail I think that's enough talking for me 
<laughs> and I can't even get my words out. I think that's enough talking from me today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.